Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When creating tables in SQL, you will need to deal with null values. A null value is a value that is unknown. These values can occur within database tables when a user who is performing data entry skips entering a value into a field. When a value is not entered, it is said to have a null value. Note that null value is not equal to anything as the value is unknown. It is not equal to zero or to a blank text string. It is also not greater than or less than any other value. However, you will need to decide how to deal with null values when creating fields within tables. You can often choose to disallow null values within fields by using the not null SQL constraint when creating the fields in a table. Unique, primary key, and foreign key fields also cannot contain null values within them as null values would disrupt the relational abilities of the tables. Note that unless the not null SQL constraint is employed when creating the fields within a table, the field will typically default to allowing null values. You have some SQL statements to assist you in dealing with null values within table fields. Since null values are not comparable to other existing values, you cannot use the equal, greater than, or less than sign within a select statement in SQL to find null values within table fields. When creating queries using the select statement, you will often need to use the is null or is not null statements within the select statement to find values within fields where the value is either null or not null. While we have not yet examined the SELECT statement, which is covered within the Data Manipulation Language chapter, you can examine how the ISNULL and ISNOTNULL clauses can be added to the core SQL of the SELECT statement to find null values. The core SQL of a simple SELECT statement is shown on screen. In this example, table name is the name of the table, field name is the name of the fields to display in the query, and the field name to compare parameter is the name of the field within which you want to search for null values or find values that are not null. So this example shows the core SQL used to find null values within a field. The core SQL is select field name field name 1 basically the fields you want to see within the query result set from table name where field name is null. Now the next example will find any values where there is not a null value within the field name to compare field. Once again the core SQL is simply select and then the field list of what you would like to see in the result set from table name where the field name to compare is not null. So if we take a moment and look at using this in Access 2013, here you can see a base table that we've created that contains first names and last names. Here in the last name column you can see there's a null value for record ID number 6. So if we wanted to find that we could say select first name last name in the result set from base table where last name field is null. And if we execute this SQL statement we'll see that record in the result set. To find not null records you use the exact same statement but simply add is not null. And so when we execute this SQL statement we should see all records in that table that are not null in the last name field. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.